So there is a game called Theme Hospital that is a very old game. I have not played it, but apparently many of the old gamers, good old gamers, have played the game. It is a classic uh, where you manage your own hospital. And as far as I can tell, after looking at some of these images, you also have to have uh, some sort of, you have some sort of, yeah, morale, tiredness, skill. It's like a Sims simulator, right? But for a hospital which sounds interesting and apparently there is a github page by core6th that is recreating the game currently using lua c++ and a little bit of java well also cmake and stuff but it's mostly lua seems like for scripting right and then the c++ might be for the engine and the java i have no idea we can take a look at that later and apparently for Windows and Mac OS, you can just download the installer. So if you have a copy uh, from good old games or EA or you have a CD, you can just download it. The language used, per used percentage means nothing. It's mostly just libraries. Oh, it could be libraries. Okay, yeah. And then they have a bunch of features, which is the single player campaign. All diseases, objects, rooms are available. All events are available, management windows, music, jukebox, gameplay videos, and cheats. <laughs> Great. Custom levels and campaigns, full HD support, zooming, make your own maps and levels. That is cool. Unlimited saves, 12 autosave slots, play your own music, option to remove, destroyed rooms. Excuse me, yadas, yadas. What is missing? Well, multiplayer. Yeah, that is <laughs> that is one of the most difficult things to make, especially in let's say C plus plus or Lua. Yeah, AI hospitals. There's a bunch of stuff missing, and they're also looking for developers. So if you're interested, join up, guys. There's uh, probably space for you to learn something. The logic is written in Lua. We love Lua, and it's approachable and easy to pick up nature. I've never used Lua. Is it? Is that true, guys? Is Lua easy to pick up? Hello, Mr. Superku. How's it going, man? And hello, Schnibble. Good morning. Hello. Yes, it is. Lua is easy. You guys like Lua, yeah? What I've used so far was very simple. Just, you know, hooking into some PAL world functions. So, didn't look too difficult. Hit a fork and get started. But don't worry if you don't code, as we can always use your help in other areas. If you have ideas for the project, please contact us. Awesome. Cool. And it looks like so far they have about 92 contributors, which is a lot. It's right here. Let's look at some of the code. I'm interested in this. Let's not look at CMake, but... Is this the big one here? 17 hours ago, the Core 6 TH. Update MK font Lua. CPP test. What is this? Test Lua CPP. Test case. Lua rotate works. Mm -hmm. Push number, push number. These are tests, I guess. Not that many. Mm -hmm. no, that? <laughs> they don't have that many tests. Okay, yeah. Just like me. See, I, I don't have many tests either. Right? Graphics. This one's interesting. File mapping. This table specifies the custom animation files to load. Plant animation dot. Okay. Let's see here. It looks like they don't really have any... Or a lot of C++ files. I was hoping to find like an engine part or a renderer part. Source, maybe? Config? Bootstrap? Bootstrap. What is this? Uh, bootstrap Lua resources. Okay. Const expression array bootstrap code local lines dub local function for s into string. Holy moly! Did they just code in a bunch of strings here? Local function. Local video. Video set caption. Holy! Is this Lua code in C plus plus? Goodness, okay. Damn. Hey, Cakes, what you working on? We're currently looking at a game made in C++ that is a remake of a very old game called... The... No. 
Steam Hospital. Looks something like this, the old game. And this is the C++ code that we are looking at. Bootstrap font tab. Start, uh, start auto-generated content. Data from Bootstrap font tab inserted by mkbootstrap.lua. Wow. Is this font data? Holy. Crazy. I don't understand a single thing they're doing here, man. <laughs> it is, for me, all of this is alien. Da, da, da. Hi. Online at this time? <laughs> he is Asian. Hello there. This is all alien to me. Holy. Lua HPP. Lua object length. Lua equal. Lua less than... Uh, okay, int, Lua state. Okay, so... Um, I think this is more like an ask question for me than from me than anything else. Um, what am I looking at right now? What is this and why is this important? I would like to understand why people do this. So let me ask it like this, okay? Let's say you have a C++ or a C engine, right? Something like that. And you need to write game logic, right? Why do you write this code? Which seems to me like a connection between C++ and Lua. Yeah, the set first, set second. Like this is C++ code, but it has to do with Lua. Map overlay pair. Right? This is Lua. Uh, permission is hereby granted. The above copyright notice. This is a TH map overlays. TH. What does TH stand for? Probably this. So map overlays.h. DK looks like a wrapper. Map typical overlay. Wait, map text overlay. Render target, canvas, canvas X, canvas Y. Level map, node, override. Theme hospital, this is theme hospital. Oh, theme hospital, yeah, I guess. Well, if you don't want 10,000 10, lines of code file, you gotta abstract the Lua API. So this is all theme hospital Lua animations. Lua movie, Lua sound. What does Lua sound do? We have an array and C type, a C string, a map. I already know all of these things. Then we have Lua SDL. And then Lua and Lua internal and Lua... No, this is just sound, okay? If they have Lua scripting, then they need to interface with it. But they want C++ bindings for RAII, etc. Now, this is not me shitting at Lua or something, but... Isn't this very complicated? I take a look at this and I compare this with my project. Now, even if you make it easy for, let's say, someone to program your game or script your game, it's only complicated if you don't know Lua. So, okay, um, but this is C++ code. You never need to read that code. I see. But it has to be written once, right? The connection has to be there once. Okay, so basically they have a bunch of Lua wrappers that make sure when you're loading something in C++, it happens to also write the correct stuff for Lua. Like, for example, it pushes a boolean on the Lua state. Positive, negative, right? So this is so everything worked well. Everything didn't work well. Okay, so basically this is loading a sound and this is loading a file. And then if they manage to load the file, they return one. Okay, interesting. So these are all of these Lua wrappers. They had to write themselves. And then if you... Yeah, this is mostly source for C++, right? Movie, map overlays, map. They have probably... This is a normal map, right? Object type? Okay. Class key? Okay. Passable? Can travel? Door west? Door north? Okay. Door on north wall of the tile? Okay. Interesting. Temperature theme. Map tile. Aha. So basically a single tile on the map has all of these properties. Very interesting. 
Mm. I like this type of code. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Holy moly. Look at all of those functions. Level map. Okay, so a level map should consist of a bunch of those level tiles, right? Map tiles. Let's find the... Uh, if I find the map tiles, then I'm happy. Let's see. Where's the data? Ah. Wait, no. No. These are functions. Eh? Where's the data? Am I blind? Ah. <clears throat> there we go. I told you, original cells called uh, cells at map load time before any changes. Cells, aha. Lua wrappers. There we go. Interesting. Mm -hmm. I, I, if I was rating this, I would create a struct with all of this stuff. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And this is in private, right? Yeah. Very interesting. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, I'm not going to go through all of the code, but that is very interesting. I have not played the game yet. I didn't play many games when I grew up. I basically only played two games. Gothic 1 and Gothic 2. <laughs> so I'm a totally noob uh, when it comes to different games. Theme Park was fun too. I bet it was fun if I got into it uh, when I was very young probably, but I've had fun as well.